back to a new YouTube video. My name is Devon Street and it's the latest YouTube channel on the internet. And may I just say there's a lot of stuff coming in this past month, two months, something, something, something like that. Like this month, I'm making a documentary about young people of integrity. I made a video about the one time slasher. It was really cool. But, 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 but it's not going to be a one part video. It's going to be a three part documentary about young people of integrity and it's going to be lit. Stay tuned for it. I'm filming it Saturday, October 13th and it's going to be lit. So let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back to a new YouTube video. My name is Devon Shui and this is a Liz YouTube channel on the internet. Um, I have not made a YouTube video and I don't even know how long it's been. It's been a long time. But uh, today, in today's video, I'm going to be... <coughs> In today's video, I'm going to be explaining why I know for a fact this won't be as long as I hope it won't be. But let's just go ahead and start this. I've been involved with a whole bunch of drama lately. Um, I hope, like somebody said that I was saying stuff about my friends, which I really wasn't, but my friends believe it. So I guess I really showed their personality. But apparently, I was saying that I can do better without them, and that I'm just a really cool guy who's like uh, rich. I'm not rich. For one, I hate when people use that word, I'm not rich, we have problems just like it, I may be in front of a very expensive camera, but trust me, I am not rich, um, but you know, they was like, hey, Caleb said, y'all stupid, y'all are dumb, you know, he can do better without you, I did not say that for him, if I say I didn't say something, if my sister, my mom, my dad, and my whole family said I didn't say something, trust me, I did not say something, um, um, next reason is that, um, I, I love making videos, you know, making videos is like something that I can do that I can bring to life that's like if, let's say, um, if I wanted to make an animation, I could do it without anybody saying, no, you can't do that. I can have my own ideas and just kind of make it into reality, like um, how, I, how I do those GTA music videos. I just get that animation thought and I just do it without somebody saying, no, you're not allowed to do that. I'm my own boss and I love that. But I also want to experience different stuff. Um, when I was younger, I used to make music and music was like this really big thing in my life and I loved it and, you know, one day, you know, I would just go in front of the uh, computer, record myself uh, singing, sometimes I would rap. And it was this really cool thing that I can do without somebody telling me to stop. And I was fairly good at it. But then, um, I was like, my friend put his hand through a window and I couldn't really make music with him. And he was like, me and him both together really loved music. But was playing a game, he put his hand through the window on accident and it was just this whole mess. And after that, I was like, you know, I don't want to make music no more. The studio is here to help me make music, so I'm not going to make music no more. Um, you know, he couldn't really come over after that anymore. And then me and him started becoming friends again, and he started coming over every day. But I was already into this YouTube thing with, uh, like, you know, Carl and John. I was already into this, you know, this YouTube thing. I had this great big channel. It was going good. You know, we wasn't really growing as fast as this channel is. But, you know, it was still a good thing. And I was like, you know, I've been vlogging, gaming. I've been doing all this stuff for so long, and I want to experience music again. I want to have that feeling that, yo, people are going to like my stuff. People are going to like my music. And it used to make me feel good. And I just want that feeling again. I want to be able to be like, I want to be able to go on stage without worrying about it who's gonna like what because I'm this YouTuber who's making this whole bunch of videos and a whole bunch of views off of it. You know, I, I don't I don't wanna get hate because I'm this YouTuber that's making videos and that's also now making music. I'm still gonna be making videos but not not every video is gonna be vlogs, entertainment me jumping off buildings not every video is going to be like that sometimes I'm, I am going to do music I'm going to start you know posting music videos on here posting my music on here and hopefully people will like that 
Um, I'm also going to be performing at this anti-bullying event that me and the mayor of Hickory is planning. The, like, I never, I didn't, I didn't think when all that crap happened at Newton High that I would be able to meet the people I, I, I met. Uh, for example, I met the mayor of Hickory. I met uh, a councilman. I, I met oh, a whole bunch of these uh, people that's working together, you know, make Hickory better, and. They're helping me with this event now that me, my sister, and a few other people are going to be performing at. I'm getting professional music artists to come out and support everybody that's making, that's, that's trying to make it big and make music now. And it's just like, I didn't think I was going to be able to do that after all that. Like, you know, all, like after I got trapped in the bathroom, I got beat up. I didn't think that was going to be possible. Um, and... I didn't really think that I would be able to like really trust anybody after that. Just because one of the people that wouldn't let me get out of that bathroom that day was one of my friends or one of my ex-friends. And I'm not gonna say his name. I have respect for the kid. I don't hate any of them. But there's a certain line that you just can't cross and trapping your friend who's been there by the way, who's been there since elementary and him getting bullied in middle school. One time the, the dude was getting beat up and I slammed somebody against the locker for him. That's trapping your friend in the locker who's been there for, for you. Trapping your friend in the bathroom who's been there for you is just crossing your line of friendship. We are not friends after you do that. Hopefully none of you guys have to go through bullying the way I went through it. And none of you get trapped in the bathroom, beat up, or even just... I just don't wish that on my worst enemy. Um, yeah, I apologize that I didn't make any YouTube videos. Hopefully you know y'all understand, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.